Welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Darth Sloan, your official partner content creator for Expansive Worlds. And today is going to be a video about the top five easiest diamonds to catch on South Africa. Of course, you may have a little difference of opinion. There might be some that you'll slip on and off and move up or down. And we're going to have a couple of my honorable mentions too, because, uh, Honestly, I, I'm going to say South Africa is my favorite map in the game, uh, but I love fishing for grass carp, sharp tooth catfish. I just think that they really, really nailed it with South Africa. I love the other three maps as well, and it's hard. I just barely give it the edge over the other. I, I enjoy fishing all four maps, and then we got a fifth map coming up. So anyway, guys, for those of you that are kind of new to the game, you need those diamond tokens out there. These are the ones you're going to want to target if you have the gear. Now, this is... This is assuming you have the gear, but you might be able to guess where I'm standing, what my number five fish is going to be, but we'll get there. We'll start off with the number five fish. I'll introduce that. But before we hop any further into that, guys, please do me a favor. We are growing. Let's grow a little quicker. And that's where you come in over in the corner there. You'll see that YouTube subscribe watermark. Hit that or straight down below and you can hit that subscribe button as well or the join if you want to further support the channel. There are different tiers of joining, different perks associated with that. Reminder, coming up at 10,000 subscribers, we're going to have a 12-hour stream if we get there before December 31st, and we are currently on pace for that. But the big one is at 50,000 subscribers, we're going to give away a brand new Xbox Series X. You heard that right, guys. The quicker we can get there, the quicker we can give that away. So go out and tell your friends. I know you've got plenty of friends that play other games. They don't have to play the angler, but... That's the point. Get them to come over here, subscribe. Maybe they watch a stream. Maybe they get hooked as well and they start playing. I think this game is going to blow up, guys. I think it's really going to be the fishing game that everybody goes to. It's still kind of in its infancy right now, but we're getting ready to get a fifth map and it just keeps getting better and better and better. So you guys get out there and tell your friends, let's hop into this, guys. And you've probably guessed by now where we're standing because what we're saying is we got lucky and caught on. Ooh, there's a diamond smallmouth bass. The number five fish is the smallmouth bass. That's right. Some people have trouble with that. So let's show you where I'm at. I'm standing right here. This is off the, the main, just straight west of the main Dino Park outpost right there. Got a little marker here. And then once again, guys, notice. A lot of these diamond markers are right on the edge of a depth change. So this lets us be able to move back and forth a little bit, depending on the time of day, the weather heats up or cools down or, or whatever. So we are at 621. Let's see what kind of temperatures we get. I'm going to throw this light mix out there a little bit. Just hand toss it out there about 43 feet. I'm going to get my first of them all out. I have it equipped with the number six frog. I'm going to pass a little bit past it. Remember to twitch. I'm just going to reel that in. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, we've got one on right here. Second cast. Sometimes it takes that. That's the purpose of the bait ball, though, is it uh, takes the smallmouth bass that are in the area that are kind of spread out and brings them to one little spot. Then you can cast through that and increase your chances of catching one. Let's see how big of a smallmouth bass we've caught here. Got a nice little silver 73 degrees. Let's see, what do we need to do? Nothing. We are perfect right in the middle of those temperatures. Temperatures run 68.6 to 76.5. That's another reason why I think they're one of the easier diamonds to get is they have like an eight degree window uh oh uh oh there you go 56 oh yeah baby yeah 11 pounds bigger than my last one at number four, another fun fish to go for, guys the common car if you want to float fish right here where we're at you can do that too nice fight and there's a wide range i'm almost a six degree window here that you can catch them for most of the day and when you pull it up here you can see if you are getting a little bit too cold of temperatures we are here at 637 so we'll have to see but if it's too cold we can move over into this area here and we can be just fine we'll up just a little bit for the common carp guys i am using the citral del rey the tiff talker 60 pound braided line 
and one alt cheese. I do like the fact that this took a little drag out. We were already at 45%. This is a common carp here. Oh, we got ourselves a gold right in those temperatures. We are at 73.8 degrees, 74.4 is on the high end. We're good. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for an angler. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I've always wanted to have a neighbor just like you. And then you pull up in your boat and you block my view. And then no matter what I do, I cast around you and I can't see my bait. And I see you in chat and I ask politely to move and you keep standing there and then I end up blocking you. But since we're together, we might as well stay. Go on over to my merch store, get you a hat, get you a mug, get you a shirt. You'll still suck at fishing, but at least you'll have some cool merch. And uh, what I'm seeing here is the same thing I saw there. We're coming from a direction, right? There's a diamond spotted bass right off the bat, guys. Coming in at number three is the spotted bass, guys. All right, guys, looks like we have hooked into our first spotted bass here in the area. I did have to switch over to that red worm. And you can see here, spotted bass, 3.86, 73.7 degrees. Perfect, right in those temperatures. You can see the banana bridge back behind us there. We are right here. All right, guys, we are out here at night. That should give it away. The number two fish for me on South Africa. I want a fresh one. Though. I want a fresh one, though. That one's got it. That, that one's expired. I want to use this one because it's 72 pounds. Coming in at number two, the sharp tooth catfish. As you can see, we are here at night. Got that match blend out there. I'm using 99 pound braided. I, I should probably drop that down. That's a little overkill. But we're using the big Growler X 110 pound bait caster, but 99 pounds the biggest line that you can put on it. We're using a one alt worm to start with, just throwing that match blend out there. We're around 200 feet, as you can see, 198 feet right there. And we are just right here, guys. Straight out from the boat valet right here. It's a known diamond location. Just a really hot spot. Come out here at midnight. Go offline, and there you go. Not even halfway through a bait ball. We're already on one. Catch you a few here, and this is a fish that will bite a lot on those gold hooks, so you can move up pretty quickly after catching a few. But, And it was tough. This almost made number one. It was a toss-up between this and the next fish that we're going to talk about after this. There's a 34.85 pound silver. We got 164 XP out of that, 313 credits. The reason this one didn't get the nod for number one is you're 200 feet deep. So taking everything into consideration, when you do hook into a big one, even the silver there, it takes a little bit to reel them in because you're coming from 200 feet deep. So you're gonna see why the next one gets the number one nod for me. Speaking of that, let's head on to it. Can you guess what's coming in at number one, guys? We're using the Power Nexus, the Tiff Talker, 55 pound braided, the Waggler, Number one doe. Yeah, that's him. Pretty sure that's him. Yeah, that's my biggest grass carp diamond ever. That's right, guys. Coming in at number one, the grass carp. My look at that slab of meat right there. 157 XP. 261 credits for just a mediocre fish. Right. There we go. Look at that pretty view right there couple of them fighting over it. And here you go. See, it just took a few seconds to reel it in. That's why it gets the nod over the African sharp tooth catfish right there. And there's a gold right off the business. Look there, three of them fighting over it.
Nice gold. But that is my top five guys. Let me know if you agree, disagree. It's fine. I've got two honorable mentions that I that I want to bring up here. The largemouth yellowfish I've caught a few diamonds of. Uh, seems like it's not a bad grind when you go up here to this spot right here. You have to walk a little bit from that cave. And depending on if it's real hot, if it's middle part of the day fishing, this little deep part right here, put your boat right here and let it, if you're going to float fish, just toss it out there about 30 feet and let the current keep it right there because there's a little bit of a current there and put your bait ball out that way. So aim downward and it'll keep it right there. It'll keep your bait right there. That's how I fish for them. Another honorable mention is the model to eel. You know, my biggest one I caught right here, and that's where group sling was the last time, I think. But I, we've caught model eel diamonds off Freaky's Dock and here and here and here and here. But my biggest one come right there. They don't seem to take very long to get a diamond of, so those are honorable mentions. Let me know in the comments, guys, how you would change my top five for South Africa. This completes my series of all four maps. If you've not watched the other ones, I have done five easiest diamonds to get on every map at this point. So check those out if you've not, and maybe we'll do five hardest diamonds next to get, and that might challenge some of you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor over in the corner. There's that subscribe watermark. Hit that or straight down below. You can hit the subscribe there. It's absolutely free. You want to get in on that. We're doing some giveaways at 10,000, but the big giveaway is at 50,000 subscribers and we give away that brand new Xbox Series X. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.